a lot of what we do is Africa, particularly East Africa. Uh, Norway have a long aid history in this part of the world. Uh, in Tanzania, in Mozambique, in these uh, countries, Norway has been there for 50 years. And, and we've been very gen generous as an aid, uh, as a donor. And before, of course, you know, actually, I mean, actually the fact is, in, if you go back 25 years, the biggest embassy, Norwegian embassy, any place was in Tanzania. Uh, because they were managing uh, big, big money, and they were important. And at that point in time, when the Norwegian ambassador called just any minister, or even the pre president, can I have a meeting, can, I, can we have a discussion? Well, the answer was yes. And they co-told and, and listened and, and to, I mean, whatever. Today, that's all over. I mean, they have problems uh, booking these meetings. When we are in town, Norfolk, and when we bring uh, uh, co-investors, uh, private sector, with us building uh, energy or financial sector or in agri-sector, no problem. So the message back from the ambassadors today is, is exactly this, to, to, to our minister and to, uh, and to stakeholders at, at home. I mean, the only way that we can uh, remain uh, a partner that uh, countries and politicians and governments are willing to listen to, and maybe even listen when we preach what's important for us in terms of human rights and, and, and gender policy and so on, it's for private sector to do that. If we go on, I mean, the old aid route, traditional aid, they, we won't have the meetings and they simply won't <coughs> listen to us.